So the Mockingbird model is a model that was developed in um, the United States. Basically it's an alternative way to deliver foster care. It's based on the concept of an extended family. So the idea behind Mockingbird is that carers operate in a constellation. So you have a hub and then satellite carers that provides more formal structured support to both carers and to children um, from the outset of placement activity. So the hub carer is kind of providing that kind of formalised support. They'll get specialist training to provide that support and they will be the kind of um, centralised support for the other carers. Um, so there'll be an expectation that the hub carer will provide regular support and the ability to provide support in an emergency if necessary. This makes a huge difference, I think, in terms of stability for children because traditionally, if we've got an emergency and children need to be moved, then it's sometimes quite difficult to get them back to the, that other placement, whereas this model is kind of building that in and and that hub carer is, has that level of expectation that they will have that space, that capacity to provide that support. I wanted to become a foster carer because I was in care as a child myself. I've been a foster carer for three years in March. I think it's important for foster carers to have a wider support network for experiences they may not have experienced. Another foster carer might have experienced it, so they could always like, discuss it and, and learn from each other. The Mockingbird programme will be a big help to single carers, as well as obviously other carers. I think it's just given a more wider range of support. So in terms of our current fostering um, strategy in South Tyneside, we, we do have a challenge with placement sufficiency, so we do need to recruit more foster carers, and we particularly would like to have more carers who are able to take more than one child, so sibling groups. And we know from children themselves that living with their brothers and sisters is a hugely important part. So from the very beginning of placement, it's recognising that extended family support is crucial to children and to carers, so it's building that in from the outset, so it's providing and dedicated support through the liaison worker but it's also providing regular ability for children to have overnights with the hub carer for example extended support it's basically creating a kind of very unique foster carer extended family it's really really rewarding i think coming from a retail job you can actually see what the benefits you're giving a child you can see them improving day by day it's every four weeks we get um, supervision with a foster officer where they'll come to your house where you go through what's happened if there's anything that you worried about or anything you need to discuss. If you're not friendly with other foster carers or you don't know many of our foster carers or you don't speak to your foster officer, I think it'd be quite isolating because you're jumping in and out of groups and year groups and ages. The support's always there, they're always at the other end of the phone if you need it. I do think if there was an extended family and you had more people you could turn to, I do think it would bring in better relationships for the older children when they actually leave care as well, that they would feel like they had them aunties and uncles. So I think anything that's going to be beneficial to the child in the long run is going to be beneficial to the fostering service. Caring for other people's children through fostering can be hugely rewarding but it also can have challenges and sometimes that means that carers feel unable to continue and Mockingbird has been quite successful in the retention of carers really and so they feel able to continue their fostering journey but actually we all operate in extended families and Mockingbird is almost trying to formalise that um, as a level of activity and provide a much more structured way to deliver foster care whilst maintaining a real focus on providing the most nurturing environment that we can for children. I would have loved to have talked to other children in care. Like when I was in care, there wasn't anything like this. It's given the foster carers someone else to talk to that are going through the same experiences. We're all in the same boat and we all know the fostering system. Really, it's going to be like having an extended family for the children in care. So where you were at home you would have aunties and uncles where you could go to talk to if everyone was meeting up these foster carers had a little little circle that they had then the children would get used to other foster carers as well if they started with the younger children they go through care then by the time they leave they're going to feel like they've got aunties and uncles it is a really rewarding job not just for me but for like the whole family when you can see the positive difference you're making in the child's life that's probably the biggest biggest achievement